In this video, we're going to look at creating and working with a hearing bundle using Adobe Acrobat Pro. I've gathered all of the files that I need into one folder. We're using the papers from an advocacy exercise that we do with pupils and chambers. It's easiest to have all of the files that you need in PDF format. Here I've got one file in Word format, so I'm going to convert that to a PDF. There are many different ways of doing this, but perhaps the easiest is just to right click on the file and click convert to Adobe PDF. I'll save that in the same folder. It opens up to show that it's converted properly and I can close off that window. The next thing I'm going to do is create my index. I'll save that file. I haven't put in the page numbers at this stage. I'm now going to give the file similar names to the names in the index, perhaps a little shorter. OK, now we've done that, I can close Word. If you're only going to be using the bundle electronically, you don't need to worry about the next stage. But if somebody might be printing the bundle, then what I do is create a blank A4 PDF document that we can use as a spacer. So I'll just open up Word, start with a blank document, file, save as Adobe PDF, I'll put it in the same folder. I have to save it as a Word document first. And I'll call it blank. And I'll use capital letters so that we can spot this file easily. OK, it opens up in Adobe Acrobat so that you can see it's worked. You can close that down. I can close Word down. The next job is to put these individual files together to create a single PDF document. There are different ways of doing that, um, but I prefer to do that by opening Adobe Acrobat, clicking on Tools, Combine Files, and then dragging and dropping the files that I need in the order that they should appear in the bundle uh, into this window. So I'll start with the case summary, and then I'll add the other documents. If the bundle is going to be printed, Practice Direction 32 says that it should be printed double-sided unless the court directs otherwise. It's irritating if one document starts on the reverse side of another document. So to prevent that, I'm going to add a blank page after every document with an odd number of pages. I can see how many pages a document has by hovering over it. The case summary has got one page, so I'll add a blank page after that. Particulars of claim three pages, I'd add a blank page after that. I don't need to add anything after the defence, that's two pages long. I'll carry on adding a blank page after every document with an odd number of pages. Now, before I combine these files together to create a single PDF document, I'm just going to click on Options and check that Always Add Bookmarks to Adobe PDF is clicked. That is tips. So I'll click OK and then I'll click Combine. Because we made sure that box was ticked, there'll be bookmarks in the bookmarks bar corresponding with the file names. We can delete the ones that say blank. Just right click on them, click Delete. I'm going to save this file. I'll call it Bundle in capital letters. You might find that some pages have scanned upside down or sideways. To correct that, just click here to bring up the page thumbnails. Scroll down to the page that needs to be turned around. Click here to turn it around. The next thing I'm going to do is click here for scan and OCR. I'm going to recognise the text in the file. That means that the file can be searched, even if it's made up of scanned documents. 
And now I'm going to compress the file size. I'll click File and Compress to PDF. This might appear as Reduce PDF Size. I'll call it Bundle Compressed. The next thing I'm going to do is add page numbers so that if the bundle is printed, there's a page number on every page. I'll click here for Edit PDF, and then here, Header and Footer, Add, Add a New Footer, and in the right footer text, I'm going to insert a page number. The default is size 8. You'll want it at least size 12. But I think it's easier if you have the page numbers quite a lot larger than that. I'm going to choose size 24. There we have it. A page number on every page. And then using this file, I'll complete my index. I'll save that index, now it's got page numbers in, and I'll also save a PDF copy. I'll call it index. And close Word. And I can close the index file in Adobe Acrobat. I'd like to add that index to my bundle. So I'll click Organize Pages, scroll to the top, and then drag and drop the index in. The index is only one page long, so I want to add a blank page afterwards so that the printing doesn't go askew. Now we have a bundle with an index, we've got page numbers on every page, but the page numbers on every page now don't match the electronic page numbers, so we can see that page 1 is now electronic page 3. We'll deal with that by creating a different numbering system for the index. I'll select the two pages that make up the index, right click, click Page Labels. In older versions of Adobe, this is called Page Numbers. And Begin New Section, I'll call this section Index 1 and Index 2. So Prefix Index, Start Number 1, Start 1, 2, 3. OK. That gives those pages the labels index 1 and index 2. Page 1 of the printed bundle now matches page 1 of the electronic bundle. Right, I'll save that file and that's ready to go. I'll send that across to my colleague Ali Tabari. So I've received the trial bundle and I can navigate it by typing the number uh, of the page that I want. For example, here I might want page 9, so you just type that at the top and press enter. Or I can navigate it by going to the side and looking at the bookmarks. So if you click here and then you click the document that you want, and it takes you to it. Uh, you might decide um, that you want to add some additional bookmarks, and so you go to the page that you want to add a bookmark on, you press Ctrl and B on the keyboard, or you click over here, and you type in its name, and then if you need to put it in the right place in the list, uh, you can move it around, or what you can do is you can nest bookmarks underneath other bookmarks like this, so you can put everything under your statements of case that you need, or you can arrange uh, witness statements together and it makes it all together neater. Uh, if I wanted I can highlight the important parts of the document, I click on that button and drag over where I want to highlight and if I want to delete I just right click and press delete. Sometimes you might need to add uh, an extra page to the bundle. So here, for example, I've been sent an extra document and a revised index. So I'm going to open that extra document and I'm going to apply uh, optimal character recognition OCR so that it's searchable. So you click recognize text. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to compress the PDF to make it a uh, smaller size. Now this document is only one page long and what I'm going to do I'm going to add an extra page, a back sheet, so that the bundle can be printed double-sided. 
So I'll click Organize Pages there. And I'll just drop in a blank PDF document as Rob uh, created earlier. I'm just going to drop it in there. And I'm going to add page numbers to these documents. And these are going to be, for example, pages 24A and 24B. So you click Edit PDF. And then you add header or footer. And this is one thing that Acrobat doesn't actually do very well. But if I want to add page numbers uh, that aren't straightforward numbers like 24A or B, I have to do it manually page by page. So I'm going to call this one 24A. I'll just click there. I want to add that only to the first page of the PDF. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a lot bigger than size A, so I'm going to make it size 24. So I'll do this for the next page uh, as well. And I'm going to call this one 24B. I want this one to be on the second page of the PDF only. I'll just show a preview of the second page of the PDF. I'll make it bigger again. Okay. There are the pages ready to be added to the bundle. So you save the file. You open up the bundle. And you click on Organize Pages. I want these new ones to appear just after page 24. So I'll just drop them in after page 24 here. Now you'll see here that the electronic page numbers haven't updated, so I'm going to select both of those new pages, select the first, and then I'm going to hold Control and click the second, right click, page labels, and this one works rather better. Uh, style, as you can see, go down to A, prefix 24, and start number one, and press OK, and I've just renumbered those pages there. Uh, 24A and B. And that means that if I go back to the document and I want to, uh, if I want to find document 24A, you just go up to the top there, you type in 24A, and up it comes. Now we're going to need to update the bookmarks. So you go over to uh, bookmarks on the left hand side, or you can press Ctrl and B on your keyboard. You add the bookmark there, you add your description of the new page and then you place it in the correct place in the list uh, in the ordinary way. Now what I need to do is add the new uh, index. So I'll go back to uh, organize pages and go to the top delete the old index and what I'm going to do is add the new index so I'll drag and drop that document in from the side. Just pop it in at the top there now that document is two pages long, so I don't need to add a, a blank page because it's an even number. And I'll just change the page labels on these documents to index one and index two to make sure that the uh, the electronic bundle numbering is right. So right click and go to page labels and under the prefix type in index and it does it uh, like it did before. Now, there might be times where it's helpful to put a sideline next to a passage in a bundle. It's particularly useful for authorities bundles. So in order to do that, click here on comment and then go to the passage that you want to highlight uh, in the bundle. So let's say here, for example, paragraph five of the particulars. So if you click here and then press on line, if you hold down shift, you get a line that's parallel with the side of the page. So just draw the line there. And if you need to change the color of it, click here and borders, and then choose a colour. Now finally, let's take a look at how to search. Now, there's two ways of doing it. The first is a simple way. Um, if you press Control and F, or if you click here, it uh, brings up this uh, dialog box here. So if you type in a word, let's say defendant, uh, and press next, uh, it will find the uh, next instance of the search, and you can uh, search through them in order. But Perhaps a better way is to press Control, Shift, and F. And we can achieve the same result by uh, going through Edit and then Advanced Search. And that brings up this Advanced Search window. And if we type the word Defendant in here and search for that, uh, then what it does is it shows us all the entries for the word in that file.